Guide to the Trail Ruins of Minecraft 1.20 The Trail Ruins is a new structure in Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales Update. In this video I'm going to explain where to find it, how to excavate it, and the loot that you get in the Trail Ruins. It is a buried structure that you will have to excavate using the new archaeology feature. It is filled with new blocks like the suspicious gravel and you can get loot items like the armor trim smithing templates, new music disc, and the pottery shirts. Where to find the Trail Ruins The biomes the Trail Ruins can be found in are the jungle, the old growth birch forest, the old growth pine taiga, the old growth spruce taiga, snowy taiga, and taiga. There's an obvious theme here as it will be found in forested biomes and old growth ones. The old growth biomes are different from the normal forested biomes as they will have taller trees. There are only three old growth biomes in Minecraft and the trail ruins can be found in all three. Also there are only three taiga biomes and the trail ruins can be found in all three. The easiest way to remember the biomes is any old growth biome, any taiga biome, or the jungle biome. The biomes the trail ruins appear in are in the temperate, cold, and snowy biome clusters. If you're looking for the trail ruin, you won't find them in the warm biomes like badlands, savanna, and desert. The trail ruins also appear close to rivers, aquifers, and oceans. From playing the snapshots, it isn't 100% that the trail ruins will appear next to water, but they usually will be found close to water. If you're trying to find one, it might be a good idea to get in a boat or travel along a river in these biomes it is found in. The trail ruins should be easy to spot as the block on the surface are ones that aren't found in the biomes like terracotta or suspicious blocks. It can be tricky as biomes it is found in are forested and the trail ruins are a small grouping of blocks. The part of the trail ruins seen on the surface is the tip of the tower. If you are having a hard time finding the trail ruins, you can use the command slash locate structure trail underscore ruins and this will give you the coordinates to the nearest trail ruin. If you want to see all the trail ruins in the world, you can go to chunkbase.com. Right now there isn't a finder specifically for the trail ruins, however if you go to the seed map that is at the top of the apps page, this will show you everything in your seed. Put in the seed, make sure that you put in the right version in Minecraft, just filter out the structures you don't want to see, and this will show you all of the trail ruins. In the seed that I'm playing in, there's one 300 blocks away from the spawn point. Also there are trail ruins hundreds or thousands of blocks away from each other or cluster together in areas. How to excavate the trail ruins in Minecraft. The first thing to explain is the suspicious gravel. There isn't any chest to get loot items. The suspicious gravel is the only way to get loot. You will need to brush the suspicious gravel. This will make a loot item emerge and turn the block into gravel. The suspicious gravel is fragile. It'll break if mined, mined with silk touch, or the block underneath is removed. You will have to brush it where it is. It looks similar to the gravel block, but there is a different texture. The way the trail ruins is, the part on the surface is the tip of the tower. This will connect with a pathway that will be stone, stone bricks, and cobblestone. This pathway will connect the different buildings of the trail ruins. The buildings will be terracotta, glazed terracotta, mud bricks, and bricks on the outside. Inside the trail ruins in these buildings will be dirt, coarse dirt, gravel, and suspicious gravel. First thing you should do when you find the trail ruins is to dig down in the tower until you hit the pathway. I would suggest working from the top down as you don't want to remove a block holding suspicious gravel and destroy it. Also if you can't tell the difference between a gravel block and a suspicious gravel block, brush it anyways to see if the loot item will emerge. Once you hit the pathway, it should be easy to identify the different buildings. The key is seeing the difference between the terrain that generates around the trail ruins and the blocks that are part of the trail ruins. It could be complicated if there is dirt that is terrain or if there is stone close to the pathways. The easiest way to tell the difference is that the blocks that fill the trail ruins will be mixed together, for example dirt, coarse dirt, gravel. In comparison, the terrain will usually be a blob of the same block like stone. The pathway also changes height and goes down a couple of blocks. Above the pathways, there's usually one block of trail ruins blocks, then the terrain. I would suggest not removing the pathway or stone part of the pathway as it will guide to the buildings in the trail ruins. The suspicious gravel only generates in the buildings and close to the pathway. In 
Java Edition, there is a rare and common suspicious gravel that has different loot tables. There isn't any difference in appearance. They appear to be intermixed throughout the trail ruins. Even though no mobs generate in the trail ruins, you should still light it up to prevent any mobs from spawning. What loot is in the trail ruins? There are two different loot tables, rare and common for suspicious gravel. There is no way to tell the difference, but you are most likely to get common and both will be intermixed throughout the structure. The common loot items found from the suspicious gravel include dye, brick, candle, emerald, wheat, wooden hoe, beetroot seeds, glass panes, coal, dead bush, flower pot, lead, hanging sign, string, wheat seeds, and the golden nugget. These items aren't particularly special items. They can be found easily and are more to fill out the loot table. The rare loot items include pottery shirts, armor trim smithing templates, and a music disc. There are seven pottery shirts, which include burn, danger, friend, heart, heartbreak, howl, and sheaf pottery shirts. They all have an 8.3% chance to be excavated from a suspicious gravel block. If you excavate a suspicious gravel block that happens to be rare, there is a 58% chance to get a pottery shirt. These pottery shirts can only be found in the trail ruins. There are 20 pottery shirts in total. The trail ruins also is the spot where you can get the most pottery shirts in one location. The pottery shirts can be crafted together to create a decorated pot. You can place different pottery shirts or bricks on any side to create different pottery on on the decorated pot. There are four armor trimming smithing templates found in the trail ruins. These are the host, razor, shaper, and wayfinder. Each has an 8.3% chance of getting one from excavating a rare suspicious gravel block. There is a 33% chance of getting an armor trimming smithing template. There are a total of 16 armor trimming smithing templates in the game, and this is the only location that has more than one. Armor trimming smithing templates can be applied to armor in the smithing table with a crystal or ingot for a color to put a decorative design on the armor. There is also a new music disc that can be excavated called the relic that has an 8.3% chance. In the Bedrock Edition, there isn't rare and common suspicious gravel blocks. There is only one loot table. All the pottery shirts and armor trimming smithing templates have a 1.8% chance. Also, you can't get a relic music disc from excavating the suspicious gravel block. That's what loot you can get, but how much can you get? For another video I'm working on, I excavated the trail ruins to see how to do it and how many suspicious blocks can be in one. The one I excavated, I got 14 pottery shirts, two music discs, and an armor trimming smithing template. For common items, I got 45 items. That's about 2.5 blocks of common for one rare suspicious gravel block, although it could be different depending on the one you excavate. Also, there appears to be spots where you will get more rare blocks. If you're still wondering if the trail ruins are worth excavating, I would say yes. It is a location you can get the most pottery shirts and armor trimming smithing templates.